Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today from Spiegel Von Scraps to share this layout with you. Um, I am going to teach you how to make your own snowflakes using sequence vibes and uh, this sequence mix, which is called the Nice List um, and Punches. So the theme this month is tools. And so I am using, as you can see on my desk, their snowflake um, punches. And I'm going to teach you how to make your own wintry mix that you can include on your layout, in your traveler's notebooks, or even um, in your planners. So I am using the packaging technique, uh, quite obvious, and I have um, three different colors of shimmers here. I have um, blue jeans vibes, and I have the new frost bite vibes as well, and that's the second one, the lighter, the darker navy blue that I'm using there. And I am basically just spraying it on my packaging, and then I am smushing my packaging into my um, piece of cardstock there. This is heavyweight 110 pound cardstock. Uh, I knew I wanted heavy because I knew I was doing mixed media for one and for two because um, I knew that the cardstock would warp and I would get a whole lot less warp if I used the heavier cardstock and I didn't want to put gesso because I didn't have time for it to dry. Although I do think that the gesso would have added a very cool effect to this. So after doing the packaging technique with these two blues, I'm then taking the um, dropper out and dipping uh, just sort of splatting some blue on and now I have the shimmerings it's called Goldilocks um, and I'm spraying that over my uh, mixed media and again not that the blue doesn't have enough shimmer but it just adds a just a different hint of shimmer um, to my snowflakes now because I want to work on this layout right away and I don't want to wait um, yes I'm that impatient um, I have my heat gun and I just um, dried that up. Now those darker splatters you can see um, took a while to, we're going to take longer to dry than I had time and or patience for. And so I just dapped them up with um, some paper napkin. So now I've got my Martha Stewart large snowflake punch and I am punching that out. And then I have two smaller snowflake punches. Um, I do have a smaller one from Martha Stewart, but I really like the shape of these, the tonic ones. Um, and so I'm going to do a couple of these. Uh, I have a fixation, if you know me, with um, trios of things, and I need to have trios of trios. Um, so I knew that I want clusters, three clusters, um, and of three, and these this gives me the ability to do that. So I have this digital cut file, uh, cut, it's on a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, and that is from Just Nick. Uh, it was one of her free downloads from the 12 days of Christmas or whatever she's doing. Uh, it was a free download. Um, and I love these, the way that that red backed behind that sort of sweater looking pattern um, with these pictures of my husband in Switzerland. Um, I'm sure it's one of the Alps mountains, but I'm not sure which one, to be completely honest with you. Um, and you will see later on as we get further into this layout that I leave the journaling spot blank so that he can fill it out himself. Um, I knew I was going to back this white piece of paper with that red pattern paper from Lawn Fawn. Um, so I just ran the 8.5 by 11 through my creative station from Xyron, which allowed me to stick this down without any gaps um, and it worked perfectly for what I wanted to do with this huge um, need for adhesive, really. So I have that red, um, and I was really torn uh, between using this. And you can see I tried a different piece of pattern paper. I really wanted that other piece of pattern paper to work because I wanted to save those tags. But I thought, Susanna, you have a huge room full of stuff. Well, it's not a huge room, but you have a huge amount of stuff. Just use it, be done with it, and don't think about it. So then I had all of the adhesive where my red piece of pattern paper was not going to be. So what I just did just now was I just took a piece of regular old photocopy paper and then stuck that on top, um, which allowed me to then not have a lot of bulk behind the layout. So my um, finished 
page per se with the red behind it and then that paper um, no longer was eight and a half by 11 so I just needed to trim off some of the excess uh, so that I could go ahead and then work on my layout. Now I tend to be a bit indecisive about things um, and I am rather finicky about balance. I like to have balance. Um, things either need to be centered or they need to be skewed to the top or skewed to the bottom. So you're going to see me move these pictures. The way that I've done the digital cut file with that um, sort of sweater pattern, or it could be poinsettias too, I, I needed to um, find a happy home for these things. Um, I That, what I'm doing there is I have some uh, shimmery red cardstock. Uh, and I wanted some smaller red snowflakes to go in with my homemade snow. Um, and so that's what I'm doing there is just punching out some of that shimmery red, uh, just generic from my stash. I believe this actually, that actually comes from um, a Recollections shimmery cardstock packet that I picked up somewhere. So I really like that with the picture down the bottom of the page but it didn't have anything underneath it, which kind of bothered me. And I could have gone back in and cut the cut file again, but I wanted to work with what I had there. Um, so I thought maybe if I got a piece of patterned paper to put underneath it, it might sort of pull it together and tie that red in. So I am going to trim some of this, but the problem with this is that the reds aren't the same and you have that gap um, between the picture and what would have been the bottom there and that ruined the symmetry for me. So, and I really liked the way that the red above in the uh, die cut and the red below the picture popped my husband's red jacket. So I decided to, um, do what they always say when you're testing and stick with my original thought. <laughs> and so I'm now just sort of looking for a pleasing um, alignment of those snowflakes. And now I have my The Nice List Sequence Mix from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I am just going to find um, ways to incorporate those in to look like the, the falling snow on my layout. And this sequence mix has a lot of really nice turquoises, a kind of a bluey gray, um, and a pop of red here and there, and worked perfectly with the colors in my pictures, as you can see, and complement that very nicely. It also brings a little bit more blue to the layout, um, so that it's a little bit more diverse in the color palette that is on the layout there. So you can find this sequence mix along with some other really, really great Christmas sequence mixes at the Spiegel Mom Scrap store. And if you use the code Susanna, S-U-Z-A-N-N-A 15, you can get 15% off. Um, the vibes or the shimmers that I used is also available at the store. And again, that frostbite is new and it is really awesome. I recommend it. Um, so now I've pulled out some tags. These are old, old tags, labels that I have um, from Teresa Collins. And I'm going to back two of my snowflakes with the round labels. And then I'm going to use that one red one that you see there down the bottom to fill in that white space where I'm also going to put my title. And then that tag is available for some journaling. Um, I toyed with the idea of putting some thread or thread balls as I call them behind the snowflakes and I liked the idea but it added a little too much. There's a lot of busyness in these pictures, uh, not in, well, they are in the pictures, but that cut file is pretty busy. And so it didn't really need a whole lot more. So now I'm just using my Prima glue pen to adhere these snowflakes down and as well as the sequence. So this is new for me. I typically use my um, Scotch tacky glue to put sequence down, but this uh, Prima glue pen does a great job of holding them down as well. And I really like that. Um, so after I get all of the snowflakes and the sequins stuck down, I am going to move on to doing some title work. I, um, you know, I was going to do Snow Beautiful. I was going to do some very sort of traditional, shall I say, titles, but I decided that I really liked On Top of the World because um, he was very high up in the Swiss Alps and this was a, a really special trip for him. Um, I think Michael had to take 
three different trains and organize that. And um, so it was quite an accomplishment for him to get where he was. Um, so I liked both the suggestive implication in the title as well as the direct words themselves. So I have these thickers that you've seen me use on a Spiegel Mom Scraps layout, snow layout before. They're perfect with that big thicker glitter um, on them. They do make a mess of my craft room, but they uh, look great on snow layouts. So I use those letters, those thickers for world. And then um, I had thought that I might use that red paper that I had cut uh, as a banner, but I found some other goodies. I have a new shipment of goodies from um, Pretty Little Studio, and so I pulled out some of my new goodies from Pretty Little Studio, and I'm going to use a piece of washi, that right there, and I didn't like the washi. I don't like the washi. It's a vellum washi, and I don't like it just as a rectangle, and you can't tear the vellum very easily. So I have my, uh, it's actually, I think it's a Tim Holtz, uh, sort of like a washi adhesive, kind of like you use for um, packing tape. And so I just use the, the variegated or the serrated, that's what it is, the serrated edge to rip the washi so that it's a little less geometrical and a little more organic. And then I got out these red letter stickers uh, to put on the, and then I needed to find some other letters um, to start off the title, or in this case for me, finish off the title. And I'm going to use some Jilly Bean Soup uh, letters that have been sitting in my stash. I also have these metallic arrows, and I absolutely love them. They're not new to Pretty Little Studio, but they're new to me. I picked them up out of the dollar bin or the, the sale section. Um, and so I use that to split. Uh, I cut one of the arrows and incorporated that into my title. So once I line up the title, I am going to be finished with this layout and call it done, put the seal of approval on it. I thank you for joining me today and I hope you are inspired to dig out your snowflake uh, punches and or you could use your silhouette for the same thing, um, some vibes and create your own wintry wonderland. Thanks for stopping in today. Thanks for joining me. Take care.